my digital photography. I'm outside with my camera and we're going to go through how to shoot in manual mode. Um, and then I'm going to kind of talk you through the project a little bit for this week. So again, you're on manual mode. So your dial is on M. There we go. Um, let's take a look at the screen here. All right, sorry you see a glare, but I am outside. Um, there we go. So the very first thing you want to do here is you want to adjust your ISO. Remember, your ISO has to do with the sensitivity of light to your camera. So the very first thing you want to do is set that when you're outside shooting in manual mode. Remember, if you are at 100, what that's saying is you want your microchip in your camera to be the least amount of sensitive to the light. That means it's a bright sunny day. If you're all the way down here in these big numbers, it means that you're in a dark space and you need your camera to be super sensitive to the light. Okay, so because we are outside and it is super sunny, we need to make sure that our microchip is set on 100. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that. Okay, next thing that you need to set is your white balance. Okay, your white balance button is right here. That's the one that says WB. Go ahead and click that. What kind of light source you're in. So if it's cloudy or you're in the shade, you'll want to set that for appropriate. But it's really bright and sunny here, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the sun. All right, at this point, the next two things you need to think about are your shutter speed and your f-stop. Okay, so how much light that whole of your lens is letting in beep, beep, versus how fast it's opening and shutting with your shutter. Okay. Now, because it is so bright, that one over 30, that's going to be holding my lens open for way too long. So I'm going to go ahead and, and turn that right away. And, and the F4 means my lens hole is open very wide. I'm also going to want to change that. Remember to switch back to, in order to toggle from your shutter to your f-stop you're going to hold down that trash can little button and then it's going to shift over to that and you can change your f-stop i'm going to want to change mine to something where this holds a little bit smaller and letting in less light all right one thing you really need to take note of when you're working in manual mode is your meter okay right now you can see my meter i am underexposed so i need to get my little dot back to the zero in order to do that, because I'm underexposed, I need to let more light into my camera. If my little dot was over here on the plus side, that would mean I would need to let more light into the camera because it would be overexposed. All right. In order to do that, I'm going to want to adjust my shutter first. Okay. Your shutter has to be above 1 over 30. If it is not above 1 over 30, you're going to get some severe camera shake and your picture is not going to be perfectly clear. So you want to make sure that your camera is at least at 1 over 30, okay? And you can see I'm still fairly underexposed here. So I need to change my f-stop. Okay? Go ahead and change your f-stop. I'm going to make that hole as big as possible. All right? Got better, right? Now I'm not quite as underexposed. Next thing I'm going to do is change my ISO, right? From 100 to 400. That means it's less, or I'm sorry, that means it's more sensitive to the light. Right? And there, now I am at the point where I'm slightly overexposed, but I'm pretty close. I could even make my shutter speed a little bit faster, and there I'm perfect. All right, digital photography. So your assignment in this week is to shoot in manual mode. And we are going to go for a walk, or you can go through a walk in your house, to find pictures of the alphabet. So we're going to try to find full pictures of the alphabet. And as we walk, I'm going to show you what I mean because I see some already. So we're not actually creating the letters. We're going to see the letters as they are in real life. Mm -hmm. So right here, I see this water fountain. That would be the perfect lowercase r. So you can do uppercase letters or lowercase letters or a combination of the two. Okay, we're just going to make sure that we're shooting in manual mode and things are completely perfectly exposed. Right here is another perfect example. I see a perfect letter M right there. Or you could also go with the W 
or you could potentially go with just the plain old letter N. Okay, I see another one over here. It is a porta potty W. Or again, potentially could be a letter M. I just see the W here. There it is. Right there, we see the W. W. Don't touch that. One thing I want you to avoid is like actually placing things in letters. Like this pine cone letter T was not found in nature. I put it together. I want you to find the letters as they are, do not make them out of objects. All right, once you take all your photographs and you get them onto your iPad, you can go ahead and start editing them. Because they've been perfectly exposed, you shouldn't really need much editing unless you're wanting to put a filter on it or do something else. But one thing that's really gonna be helpful to you is um, the cropping and flipping your photos. So if I click on this one, this was my letter G. And you can see that it's um, sideways. So in order to get that where I want it, I'm gonna come in and I'm going to turn it. Okay, and now we see a better letter G. And I'm gonna crop out anything that's unnecessary. So cropping is really important in this assignment. And I'm gonna go ahead and crop right there. And then click done. And now you see my letter G much more easily than you did before when it was in the other position. Right. Here's one that really doesn't need any editing at all. Here's my letter O. But I'm going to go ahead and crop out some of the sides here. So really you want to make sure that whatever letter you're shooting, you're zoomed in and that letter is filling up most of the frame. Right. And then if you want to take them into a Lightroom and didn't do any additional editing, editing that would also be great.